no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Yes, I know it's been a long time and I'm sorry. But I have a surprise that I'm sure all of you are going to like. As you can see, I am in FS17. Um, I was getting burnt out on 15 and really just farm sim in general. Decided, you know what, time for a change, whatever. Um... So, yeah, I went and got it and downloaded a bunch of stuff, and we are here on County Line, and we're going to start up a series here. So, uh, this is actually my first time on this map. I legit just finished loading it up, too. Uh, so, yeah, um, opening the door, oh. Cool, you get to... So I could leave them a little bit open if I wanted. Well, that's nice. Um, I've played 17 a little. I've been playing on the Central Valley map. But... Um, that map's okay. I have a feeling that this one's going to be a whole lot nicer, though. Just because if it's anything like County Line in... 15, which I know it kind of is, pretty much, just with some upgrades, then uh, I know it'll be nice. So what we're going to do, we're not going to use this starting equipment. We're going to sell it, and we're going to take out a loan and buy a little bit nicer of equipment. What the world's going on there? That's weird. Uh, and buy a little bit nicer of equipment. Not going full out yet. Um, just want to buy a little bit nicer of items. So we're going to go ahead and hop on into the shop here, and we're going to sell it all. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the farm video that I had uh, last week or something like that. I have one more that I need to edit and upload yet. Um, I just have not done it yet, but I will uh, get around to it. So we own field 33, which is where... So, field 33 is right over there. So, it must be... Okay, I see which one it is here. Okay, so we own one field. Which is nice. So, we're going to take out the full loan that we can. Well, okay. No, we're not going to take out quite that much. We'll take out five million just to start with and then we can maybe buy another field or two as well um so let's see we need to find a plow or a cultivator i think i'm gonna go with a cultivator just because we're gonna go with the 30 foot 26 23 this requires 190 horsepower Okay, so we got that, so then we need some cedars, um, probably going to use, um, may not use a mod for this, let's see, I think we'll get this guy, and then what's this for, that's for potatoes. So we'll get these two guys here. This will be our drill, and then this will be our corn planter type thing. Okay, do we want a sprayer or a fertilizer spreader? I think we'll go with a sprayer. We'll go with the Hardy, I think. Let's see, that one's 71,000. That's 84. Okay, so this, and this is basically a reskin. We'll go with the standard tires on that. So we don't need anything there. Um, we do need a trailer to haul 3,785 liters. Oof. 
Okay, so we'll just maybe skip out on a trailer. We don't need anything there or there. Uh, we don't need a weeder. Okay, let's see. Do you need anything farther this way? I don't believe so. I wouldn't need anything there or there. Um, okay, so then let's get a couple tractors here. We'll go ahead and look at the modded ones right away. See what we got in here. So we need something with around 200 horsepower. Got to be up in that area. Um, that we might get. So 194, 211, 222. I think we'd be fine just getting standard. Uh, 47.55. We'd have to upgrade that maybe. Oh, we can't. Lemma? I don't know what that is. Um, get. See, I believe I have a 6R, yeah. I could get a 6R here. Um, okay, so we'll get a 49.55. We might as well get a front loader on it, because we'll probably use that, and, uh, you know, later on, we'll just do standard. So we'll just get it with the front loader attacher, and that's it. So there's one tractor. So that's 145 horsepower. It's 175. Let's see. So this needs 180, 140. So let's get let's get the 7800 with duels to pull our corn planter. And what do these got for horsepower? It doesn't even say. Okay, so I think the two should be fine. Then we want a grain truck. Which I think... Yes, that is the only one that I have. I have this one, but that one's a little bit too big and new for what we need. So I'll go with the Transstar. We don't need oversized. Let's get it in... Let's get it in, how about a red? Maybe. Um, let's go black. Okay, and then we need a combine. What do I got for modded ones? Not much of anything. Maybe a 71... 30. Now let's go to the Massey. The Activa. So we need some headers for that. Okay, so here is the green head for that. Um, I'm assuming... This must be the corn head that works on it. 74, 30. No, this is, okay. We're not going to change the color on it at all. Okay. So we need to move some of our equipment for before we can do anything. Um, you know what? Let's just have it all reset because it's going to be a whole lot easier.
I definitely wish that some of these things had viable duels as well. That'd be really nice. Because, like, our John, big John Deere that we bought would uh, be nice for that. And then we might as well get a Sunflower Header right away, too. Just because. And I think, well, then we just need a vehicle for getting around in. We'll go with Willie's Jeep. Go with standard. Okay, so we got our corn and sunflower headers, so we'll reset those. Okay. Oops. There we go. And that should be the only thing showing up there yet. Maybe not. There we go. Alright, and we'll hop into this guy and start him up. We'll get all our diff locks on as well. Yeah, this thing's not bad. Not greatest either but it works um, I do have traffic on good so let's see is this the field that we own? no okay so the field that we own is way over there so yeah this is just what we're gonna start off with this is not the equipment that we'll use for the entire time and we will get into like animals and stuff later on as well but we gotta start off somewhere uh... we actually can pay back a whole lot of our loan we didn't really need five million we just needed about one or one and a half the camera is really far back on this thing uh... oh we do also need to put down a pressure washer at the farm so we're not gonna buy this ginormous field next to us here because with the equipment we have that would take ages um, I think we'll pick up like a smaller field and then we'll pay our loan back maybe we'll get like seven oh we also own oh we do own a few fields actually 33 10 11 so I think we'll pick up like field seven yet and then we'll be good. We'll have four fields to run off of. Alright. So let's get our stuff parked. So let's check first. What does... Our growth look like so these are all plowed and I'm actually gonna turn this needs plowing thing off let's see switch the trains off radio off radio range always um, dollar miles camera sensitivity periodic plowing required off Fertilizer states, we're going to do one for the time, just with the way that we have things. Um, FS17 series. And, alright, that should be good. So field 10 is already fertilized, it shows. Or part of it, anyways. Anyhow, like I said, we're going to go ahead and we'll get this stuff put away, parked in our sheds, so I have drive control, I have course play, I have all kinds of things, uh, I have manual attaching as well, uh, which I find is a very, very nice mod, I enjoy using it, 
it is very fun to use. I think this tractor may be a little bit on the low end for this, but we're going to go ahead and use it anyways. So I'll go ahead and get this door opened up here. This is where we'll park a majority of our machines, or our implements, I should say. does not quite go far enough actually but we'll just roll with it here so I also have no collision camera which is a mod that is impossible to not have it's like ridiculously annoying otherwise tractor have I see it does so let's open up the door and the window and the window and the back window cool all right so we got anything else here nope so we'll unhook that guy we'll grab our next machine our next implement our next tool whatever you would like to call it Our next implement. It's a little far back. Okay, so this thing can plant. Let's see, we got wheat, barley canola, soybeans, uh, that's that radish thing, grass, oats, I'm assuming this is rye, and it's not going to tell me either, is it? No, that must be rye, that's got to be sorghum, okay, so I can plant a pretty good variety of things. So I am trying to do this series, gonna try to do this series as realistic as possible. Um, like, plane wise. I know starting out with a ginormous loan, that's not exactly the most realistic thing in the world, is it? But, um, it's better than starting off with, like, tons of huge equipment. So what do we got on this? We got sunflower, soybean, corn, uh, sugar beet, and sunflower, okay. So this we'll be using for our sunflowers, corn, and soybeans. And then we'll use the other thing, the drill, for all of our other crops that we plant. I kind of wish that this thing would plant the sorghum as well. Uh, just because of the way that sorghum grows it would make sense for this to be planting that but it is what it is I guess okay so that's all that we'll put in this shit actually I think we'll stick the sprayer just inside of it and then we'll put our other stuff in the two Quonset buildings there Use the uh, 
7800 for this. Where is the 7800? Oh, it's on the other side of the combine. So we'll stick this just inside of the uh, shed here. This is actually going to be a tight fit too. You know what? This we'll just throw in with like the combine. So we'll go ahead and close the door here. I like the way that that door works. That's pretty neat. So we'll just put this way in the back. This quantity here. Go ahead and we'll open up the door. This thing's actually quite large. So we'll have plenty of room for all of our all of the rest of our equipment will be able to fit in this one quonset. So then that should be it. If there's anything else left up there, we'll just use the uh, 7800 for it. So we'll go ahead and we'll park this guy here. Get all of our doors and windows and whatnot closed up. Uh, normally I wouldn't do the door, but you can't open the door from the outside, so. Now, I love this tractor. Uh, this was actually done by Ross W., a good buddy of mine. I love the startup. It's pretty awesome on this tractor. This will make a good corn planting tractor. I guess if I had gotten like the singles version, it would make a good sprayer tractor. But we don't need to buy another one just for that purpose. This one's good. But the uh, 49 there is going to get a lot of use. Okay, and then we got our combine here. all of our headers into the yard. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see if our headers will fit into the Quonset doors. If they do, maybe I'll use that other Quonset for them. Huh. Oops. I guess I forgot to implement a button for that on... for attaching things onto my... Uh, side panel here. If nothing else, our headers can just sit outside. Which is probably what... Yeah, we're going to have to do that. So we'll just throw them up over here, I guess. Let's put them along this fence. I'm curious to see does the key. Of course not. I'm just curious to see if the uh, key turned. This does not have uh, any ICs, of course, because it's a giant's a uh, giant's model. It's an in-game thing. I do need to go get some more like combine mods or something. Don't have very many. They're all larger. The corn head here would fit. Oops. This would fit in the uh, Quonset, but we'll just lay it out next to the corn head. We'll actually, or the grain head. We'll actually just unfold it as well and lay it down over there. That'll be good right there. We'll go grab our sunflower header and we'll get this and the truck parked. And then we'll be ready to start uh, doing some field work. We'll actually get started on planting right away, I guess.
I don't know if I have any tenders or anything. Um, I should look at that. Maybe here in Misk. No. Um, pallets. Is there anything in here? Silage additive. <laughs> what do we got for placeables in here? See, we got that pressure washer, but I'm gonna actually use a modded one that I downloaded, this one. So it just looks a little nicer. And we will put it up here beside this shop. Um, I'd like to get this eventually. Oh, we need a toolbox. We'll go ahead and we'll place this up here by our Jeep so we can put it in the Jeep. Wherever that is. There it is. Let's put it there because you can actually move it. So I want to get this machine shed at 1.2. Not now, but I just want to see if it would fit where I want to put it. It will. Cool. This is where I'd like to put it except I'd like to turn it around and have the bifold door on there so it'd go something like that that's kind of what I'm thinking well actually it might have to put it the other way because of this little door on the side or else put it up against there or something but that's the general area that I'd like to put it I do have some mouse controls on that. Oh, and the header is still lowered. I figured he'd need to unfold it. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll park this inside the Quonset and then get our truck put in and then we'll go ahead and we'll start doing some planting. Uh, I am running Seasons Mod and I'm not sure exactly what I have my length set to for a season. Might be kind of handy to look at. Oops, too far there. Left control S, no, left, left alt S. Um, so, planting season is right away, of course. So, let's see, everything in, everything's late summer or early fall. Um, we want snow on snow tracks on moisture on we want Fahrenheit season instructions can go off and we want a season to be three days for now yes okay <clears throat> okay Actually, no, let's go six days. That'd be a little better. Alright, so we are in early spring, so we need to get our crops planted. We still need to buy one more field and then figure out what we want to plant in what field. Okay, so let's go to, oops, other button. Let's go to field management. We want to buy fields, let's buy seven and eight right away while we're at it. And that's already a half hour. That's insane. So we'll just, uh, okay. 
So let's pay back our loan yet, and then... Oh. So that's all that we can... Break neck bankruptcy. Fn end. Oh. Well, that was nice. Um... Okay. Did not realize that was going to happen. But anyway, okay. So what we'll do. We'll go ahead. We'll close up the doors. We'll head on up to the Jeep here. We'll throw the toolbox in. Uh, what the toolbox does is because I'm also running the repairs mod. So. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Um. Jeez. I'm running the repairs mod, so... Alright, so let's just throw this in the back seat here. And we'll go ahead... Can we fasten a tension belt? So we can customize this thing right from here, which is nice. And then we can also repair the vehicle, but we don't need to right now. So we'll go ahead and we will, I guess, leave the toolbox there since we can't get it to stay. So this is how we're going to end every episode and how we're going to start. Whoops. Every episode is by driving to and leaving the farm house. I almost said farm yard. But, um, yeah. So this is where we will start and end every video. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.